Black Ops 6 scares me, that's right, and I think for a lot of older gamers in my demographic, they probably feel the same. We want to be excited for it, but at the same time, we're just not certain anymore if the Call of Duty franchise is going to present to us what it may once have. I think in this video, it would be good to talk about where Call of Duty has been over the last few years, and what Black Ops may be able to do for the franchise going forward, if anything at all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite some time since the last Call of Duty released, and now Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is on the horizon. It does put me on edge just a little bit. Even though I want to be excited for it, I'm not sure if I can be 100%. And I've got a few reasons why. To kick it off, the Call of Duty campaign in almost every title often makes up for the lackluster multiplayer experience. It's a repetitive, uh, just unrewarding experience overall, especially for someone in my age bracket who's been playing Call of Duty for quite some time. Now there were a few Call of Duty titles over the years that were regarded and still are regarded as some of the best that were ever made, notably Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare 2. Now the Black Ops 6 campaign, which we've seen the most of as far as trailers go, looks great and I have no doubt that the campaign will be great. Call of Duty always spends huge money to make their presentation and trailers of their games look fantastic, and I again have no doubt that the campaign will be fun. If they stick to their formula, it will probably be a roughly six to eight hour experience, and it will probably be a really good time. I do not, however, expect anything to come from multiplayer. I don't think that in the day and age of Battle Royale, a game like Call of Duty multiplayer has many legs. It does in the Call of Duty competitive scene, and I understand why people still play it to level up their weapons and unlock new skins and attachments, etc, etc, but I just don't see the multiplayer scene having anywhere near as much of a hold as it may once have. All anyone these days, I feel, is really interested in is the long game, the battle royale, the extraction-esque type shooters that we saw Modern Warfare 3 try to adopt. That, however, is where Call of Duty does seem to hit another wall. Call of Duty has been in a bit of an identity crisis now for quite some time. They're trying to mix in elements of all sorts of different games that at this point just don't make any sense. I mean, is Call of Duty a tactical shooter that's supposed to represent modern combat? Is it Fortnite where we're running around dressed like bunny rabbits and little furry green men? Is it an arena shooter? What is it? DMZ was an utter disaster. Again, Call of Duty trying to take on a completely different genre that it's never touched and it did not work out well at all. At this point, I don't even think that Call of Duty knows what it is, knows what it wants to be. The overwhelming stack of weapons and attachments and gear, when at any given moment during any given season of the game, there is a meta that consists of tops, three different weapons, the rest of which are completely useless to the game. And yet there are over, what, 500 different combinations? Well more than that, I'm sure. I just don't understand at this point what Call of Duty is trying to be. Now that's just, again, one aspect of the game, specifically harping on the multiplayer and a little bit of the Warzone experience. Now, Warzone ultimately is where everyone who is playing Call of Duty at in 2024 is at. It's all about Warzone. But here we have Black Ops 6, which is a trade Treyarch creation, coming from Blackout, which was a Treyarch creation, not an Infinity Ward baby. Now in my opinion, and I don't think this will happen even though I wish it would, Warzone should stay its own entity and Blackout should come back, whether it's Blackout or Blackout 2 or whatever they want to call it, and become its own entity, where the Treyarch Black Ops franchise remains in its own ecosystem within its own universe, and the Infinity Ward sledgehammer side of things does the same. To me, there is no point in combining both and trying to optimize the engine that this game runs on with all of the dumping of assets and mechanics, player programming, all of it, that it would require to make the game functional. It didn't work out well when we converted over from Cold War, and I doubt it's going to work out well again 
if that's what they plan to do. Again, I would love to see them release another iteration of Blackout that remains its own game so we can experience what develops within the Black Ops Blackout franchise alone. Allow Infinity Ward, Warzone, Sledgehammer, Raven, all of those guys to do the same in the Warzone universe. It's too cluttered, there's no sense in having as much in the game as there is, mixing the identities back and forth across multiple games from different developers only adds to the identity dilemma that the franchise already seems to be stuck in. So what is the Call of Duty future? What does the future of Call of Duty look like? Well, we've all experienced Modern Warfare 3 for quite some time now in the iteration of Warzone that came with it, and by now, it's just, you know, another game on the shelf, if you will. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 promises to breathe new life into the franchise. It's a new game from a new company, or rather, a new game from a company we haven't seen in a little while. That's going to be bringing new player mechanics, new abilities, new ways of traversing the map, so it should be a good time for a little while. But how how long will that last? My concern is, is that I am of the age that Call of Duty is going to cease to be a game that I can go to that provides the longevity and a shooter experience that I personally want. Now, I'm just one guy, and there are still plenty of people out there who very much enjoy the Call of Duty experience as it is. And to be quite frank, it seems like Call of Duty is catering more toward those people, the younger crowd, the younger generation, if you will than it is to the people who may have come up on the franchise. I personally would like to see a Call of Duty game that not only presented a tactical, dark, gritty, slow-paced campaign that also translated that over into the battle royale mode of the game. Call of Duty is notorious for being an extremely fast-paced game. If that's your thing and if that's what you like, then great. But again, that just sort of goes back to me poking at the fact that Call of Duty doesn't really seem to know what kind of game it wants to be. There are so many different conflicting elements between the campaign, the multiplayer, and the battle royale experience. I would really like to see a slower, more methodical, planned out version of the Call of Duty battle royale scene while keeping the mechanics that make Call of Duty what it is. The Call of Duty next event is scheduled for this August, where we will get our first look at what the multiplayer is going to be like, although I don't expect it to be any different than any other Call of Duty multiplayer experience besides the addition of new guns, new gadgets, and new player mechanics. What I am interested in, and what a lot of other people are interested in, is the Warzone experience. What is that going to look like? How are they going to integrate into the Warzone universe? How does the studio or studios that manage Warzone plan to handle that integration? Is there going to be an announcement for an entirely new game mode like DMZ that we have no idea exists? I don't know. Whatever it is, I hope that across the Black Ops 6 series, as far as the campaign multiplayer and battle royale, it holds true to the experiences that those provide. Unfortunately, the Modern Warfare 3 experience that was DMZ really went nowhere and felt completely different than many other aspects of the core game. These are just a few things that make me a little bit nervous about the Call of Duty franchise and Black Ops 6. I don't think that Black Ops 6 itself won't be fun. I will play it and I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. I'm sure the campaign will be good and I'm sure the multiplayer will be fun for a little while. I'm anxious to see where the series is really planning on taking itself because I just don't see Call of Duty being a series that's able to continue to thrive unless they're only planning to appeal to a very young demographic, which maybe they are. But for those of us out there who have been playing for quite some time, it's just a little dated. And enough is enough as far as what we've been presented and how little has changed. So let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for Black Ops 6? What do you think Call of Duty needs to do to improve? To advance as a series, advance as a franchise, to introduce things that make more sense and decrease some of the clutter, that streamline the gameplay, that maybe slow 
slow it down, that maybe brings it into more of a secular identity, if you will. Let me know what you think below. As always, I really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. If you're new, then welcome. I'd love to have you guys as a part of the community. We stream here and on Twitch three days a week. Throw a like on the video if you did enjoy it. It really helps YouTube understand that you like this type of content and see more of it going forward. If you want to hang out even more, drop a subscribe and I'll see you guys online.